Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today, let's discuss how to create a lead in Odoo 16 CRM. Now before starting, let me ask you a question. What is actually a lead? Lead is nothing but the conversation or communication with a probable customer. We can also equate lead with the business prospects. Any contact that a sales team maintains or gathers can also be called a lead. That means the lead can either be a prospective customer or contact. In business, different companies maintain leads hoping that these leads or sales contact would become clients at one or other juncture of the business. When we are talking about lead from the ERP point of view, lead could be any information including phone number, mail ID or social media account of the prospective buyer. We get more and more leads through advertising, marketing, live chat, direct mailing and other marketing efforts. We can get sale deals with the help of different types of activities including direct communication, internet communication or mass media operations. Now let's see how to create a lead. For that open the CRM module. Now inside the CRM you can see a menu called leads. Now at certain times you won't see this and if you're not seeing it don't worry just go to the configuration settings and enable this field which is leads and only after you enable this this menu will come okay so i'm going to this leads inside the leads you can see all the created leads if you want to generate leads click on this and if you want to create a new one click on the create button so currently we're going to create a new one so let's click on the create button this is the creation form you need to specify a name for this I'm giving product pricing and here you can see a percentage which is called the probability percentage what is probability percentage so probability percentage is the probability to win opportunity or deal okay so this is automatically calculated by odoo if you want you can just change it and type it manually so i'm not going to change that now here we can specify the company name so i'm going to specify the company name here and the address Okay, the address is also given. Here you have the option to give the city, state or country. So I'm giving the country as India and the state as Kerala. Okay, so here you can specify the website of the contact and also the language. So I'm not giving that and the salesperson and sales team will be automatically assigned based on the logged in user. So if you want to change it, just click on that and from here you can change it. Okay, also the sales team can be changed from here. Now, on the other side, we have contact name. That is a contact name, any person in, inside the company to contact. So I'm giving the name as Cherry. And the title, that is how he should be addressed like Dr. Madam, Miss, Mr. and all. So I'm giving Mr. Jerry and email also. Jerry dot gmail dot com something like that I'll give and the job position so job position of that person I'm giving that and the phone number mobile number if if any number is there you can specify that as well now here we have the priority where we have three stars we have three kinds of priority which is medium high and very high so I'm setting the priority to very high here we have tags okay tags are used for easy identification and all so i'm giving a software training consulting i've given three tags okay now if you come here you can see a thing called add a property that is if you want to add a field you can do that just click on that specify the field name field type and the default value so currently i'm not giving any now here we have the internal notes so i'm giving details about product now in the extra info you have the marketing details and the analysis the analysis part is automatically filled okay this is the assignment date and the closing date that date is automatically filled based on our operations or activities now here we have the campaign so you can choose any campaign or the medium that is email, Facebook, Google and all. Now, source also. 
and who referred this okay that also can be chosen and here we have the assigned partner option so i'm saving it now currently this is a lead okay now we've talked about probability let's go to configuration settings and see something now this leads we enabled it and the menu have come now here you can see predictive lead scoring so you've seen about probabilities and all what is this predictive lead scoring so the predictive lead scoring it can be considered as the approach that has taken the lead scoring method to its higher level that is this method will help you make use of online data machine learning techniques and identify the characteristics of already existing customers and all and also this will help you to understand the characteristics of new leads besides it will uh, also help you to rank the probable buyers based on the analysis and also help the sales team to plan business tactics based on the probability rate and here we have the lead generation and we have different methods which is lead enrichment lead mining visits to lead and all for lead generation so we'll talk about this in detail in another video let's go back to leads and this is the lead which we created right now if you want to convert this to an opportunity by just clicking on convert to opportunity you can do that and if it's lost mark as lost and you have to specify the lost reason and if you want to convert it to ticket just click on convert to ticket okay so this is how you create lead i hope it was clear for you all and that's all for today's video thank you